Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Glad to see you here. We are in a little bit different scenery today. Usually we work over at Lance's house. Today we're working at my house. I uh, got the Hummer and the Duramax sitting right here. And I got kind of just a simple, more of a simple uh, video here for you. We're going to do a little bit of stuff to the Duramax. Before we do get into that, you'll see that the Hummer is all mudded up again. And that's because we did a little bit of off-roading with it. Uh, it's been a little bit since we took it on a trip. We did just, just a little bit, a little impromptu trip the other night. And uh, I'll have a video up on that later, but uh, it might have it might have gotten defeated by some obstacles. Now the Duramax has been working pretty good. If you saw in the last upload, I have the center cap off this wheel. I have not pulled the CV axle out yet. Noticed a vibration, and that is because the CV axle is wearing out. Now this is just like it's under warranty. It's a cheap uh, advance, like remanufactured one. We just bought cheap ones originally um, because the truck. Hey, there's my plug in right there um because the truck had been breaking axles originally if you watch the one whistling diesel had the truck he was always breaking axles this has nothing to do with that the reason it broke axles originally was because the mounting tabs were all broken off of the actual differential itself uh so it wasn't held in <laughs> to the truck hardly at all um i think it had one mounting point on the front but the with a lift you cut the top one off and then there's just a back one back when it had broken off so it was just held on by the one front mount and that's why he was always breaking breaking axles it really wasn't that big of a deal we have a brand new kodiak truck sent out a brand new really nice you know well-built diff no issues with that whatsoever this is just because we used a cheap cheap cv axle from advanced auto parts um not really hating on them but it's what it is what it is and uh anyway so we've been working on wrapping up a bunch of little things like like just stuff that you know you notice needs done like i know i gotta do a window motor I'll probably on both windows this side those two work go up and down real fast this side they work but they're just a little bit slow i like to have them fixed up and then like weather stripping i got a new piece of weather stripping for this side i already did the driver's side that's my center cap and because there's just a little bit of an air leak and stuff that happens when you know like we reused what we could and some of those parts you know then you get them together and you're like ah you know probably should do new and that's that's what i'm discovering as we're going along here and so and i really want to get new kick panels for pretty much everything inside here got this little guy they're all over man stink bugs suck but one of the big things that is on that long list of of sort of easy things but it's just a it's just a list we got to get taken care of is the radio if you recall <laughs> i had some electrical problems when we first got this rebuild done and uh it was causing like four-wheel drive light um no gauges um no four-wheel yeah no four-wheel drive no reverse lights i don't know it was a bunch of different stuff windows wouldn't go up and down so just a ton of different things were not working and i was stumped like we checked grounds that's what we kind of thought it was it's what most of you guys thought it was and then it turned out that the radio or the controller for the radio was bad and i don't know which one exactly i still actually have the controller i chucked the radio um so i have been without radio i just have a factory radio sitting in there um and then decided that i was going to get an aftermarket one so i didn't worry about getting that one programmed so i don't have any radio so ready to get that done and i went with a really cheap amazon one in the back seat here we got let's see what's that oh we could do this too actually on that long list these are new headlight reverse light all new led lights we'll check that out too actually at some point here and then i got got my uh, my tripod in here because i'm a professional got the a toto <laughs> android in car entertainment i think it has apple carplay too but i use an android phone so um not like the cheapest option you could get but it's it's pretty close i think they're like 160 170 bucks i am not an audio guy i don't really care about that stuff at all and this actually had pretty good reviews as far as the user experience like as long as i can use it easily that's all i care about usually i hate aftermarket radios but I'm excited to give this guy a try um, and see what's up. Got a dash kit because the one that was with another stink bug. They're everywhere. Um, and then got the kit to hook it up into uh, the dash with the bows and with the steering wheel controls. So you still have all the chimes, everything like that. So that's our plan for today. I got to wire this guy up and then we'll also get to see um hopefully what the name of the truck is there's a trend going around on tiktok that under the de like dash bezel that goes around the whole 
thing there. Uh, there, there's a name and that's the name of your truck. I don't know if it's still on here because this, that, you know, cover was dipped carbon fiber. So I imagine that sticker's gone, but we'll see. The other thing I forgot to mention we got is new rear view camera, which will be handy. Um, just so you know, you don't back over a, I don't know, like a Kia Sophia or something. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be like quality wise, guys. This might... I might be ripping this stuff back out, but we'll see what we got here. I think we're just going to uh, time lapse hooking up this guy here because I think it's going to be a little bit tedious here, but hopefully it shouldn't take, shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Well, after a little bit of time here, I think I got everything connected, at least as much as we can out here. I'm going to wait on the rear camera, different things like that. Uh, but let's go in the truck and pull the old radio out of there. All right, time to see I don't have any keys. All right, pause the video. This should work better. So now we get to see what the name of the truck is, if there is one. Like I said, I'm a little skeptical about it, but we will see. And right there is where the sticker would be. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope. Well, I found out who did it. Enhanced Coatings Incorporated. It says it up here. Mm. Okay. So we are going to try. This should fire up. I don't have everything hooked up yet uh, as far as the other options and things but we're gonna see here i think we may have power if we hook up now there see if we can just kind of rest her oh i saw it light up for a second all right let's turn the key on okay it's lighting up all right that's a good good thing there Hey, there we go. Um, all right, 87.5. Let's see if we got audio. All right. All right, it wasn't super interesting to put the whole mount and everything on there, but I got this guy installed in here. Uh, might have to adjust the mount out just a little bit. I got a little bit of a gap up at the top. Square-wise, it's actually pretty pretty decent could maybe go up just a little bit but it's not not too bad where it's sitting right now with everything pretty much taken care of there on the inside just got to do the reverse camera now i actually already ran the wire from the inside but it wasn't difficult um to the back section here which thankfully most of the time these kits like do not come with enough wire but it did for this one so good for them and it actually had a couple feet extra so basically you can just mount this guy here over the uh, license plate, obviously. And then I'll run the wire, I believe. Uh, which direction do I want to go? I may actually go above and then run it down. I think that's what I'll do. Right, like so. And then we got two different, the power cable for the actual camera, and then one for here for signal to turn on. Um, and they both just get plugged into the reverse light, so that's easy enough. So I can wire this guy in pretty easily because the controller is right there underneath, so I'm right behind, like even, I think even my shortest one will reach, yeah, like with no problem over to there. So I have some extra wire, not a big, not a big deal. We can wrap that up, but I'm actually going to find my reverse lights. Remember I said we got uh, some new LEDs, so I'm going to find those guys pull out both taillights so I can see which wire exactly goes to the reverse light and then can put my put my new stuff in let's see what we got here um uh, I don't know which one those are I got like 14 different brands so LED I don't think any of them are the same brand yo they're not <laughs> all right so it's got to be one of these guys 
It's not those. See that? Might be these guys. Let's check them. Yep. Nice. So I have no idea how bright these are going to be. They're clearly a, like, Chinese piece of junk. But hopefully they're better than these ones because I can't see anything at night with these guys. Sky off. All right, so important thing, reverse lights look like they are green and black. That guy out. Hmm. There she goes. Back in. Well, after a little bit of struggle of messing with really tiny wires there, I think I got it professionally installed other than, you know. Wait, there's going to be some wire cleanup, as always. But let's see if we got a uh, reverse reverse camera now. So turn this guy on. Actually, we'll go to full startup. And let's just go to reverse. Oh, yeah. There we go. You can see the Hummer. Very cool. And let's see what these reverse lights look like. Oh, they look like they're going to be, why do I only have one? What? It actually looks pretty bright considering it is the middle of the day out here. But I only got one happening right now. I figured it out. I just never plugged it back in. So I got this guy connected to Wi-Fi and everything here. Um, and I don't know all the features yet. We're going to have to learn that. Um, that wasn't a good sign. Back to the channel. We got a oh my goodness. Day. Who is this guy talking? I have to say it is pretty cool that you can update an old vehicle like this these days. I mean, most of the technology that they have is through their infotainment and stuff. I mean, this is the $160. Is it perfect? No. Um, but it actually works pretty well. Touch response is decent. Maybe a tick slow. Biggest thing I can tell is the screen is not super vibrant. Um, you can tell it's a little cheaper on that end. Otherwise, it seems to work okay. I do wish it had a volume knob rather than the buttons because buttons are stupid. Uh, but I'm actually pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. It's nice to have Bluetooth again and just to have some music. I've been riding in silence for a while now. Um, but it is it is just crazy that you can pretty much have all the new car features with a $160 radio. Next up, let's uh, let's just throw these front LED lights that I got. Might as well just do it quick. And then um, and it's not anywhere close to dark. So uh, probably switch over to my Instagram by the time you see this, maybe I've posted some, maybe I haven't. I don't know. I mean, I can't control these things. Ah, shoot. It is my job, isn't it? They might be there, might they might not be. Got high beams, low beams, and the fog lights down there. That should be everything else. These are already LED, but these are terrible at night. Like, I don't know what brand they are or what the deal is with them. Um, they might be Sylvania. They might be just whatever came with the cheap eBay headlights, which would explain a lot. Um... But I can't see anything at night, hardly. So, gonna hopefully get a little bit better here. Got the whole side here done. I'm gonna turn on the lights, make sure that we actually got, that everything's working. Granted, these are Amazon specials. All right, that side's on. That side's on. I don't notice a crazy brightness difference. And, all right, let's try fogs. And high beams. Fogs are not on. Interesting. Oh, well, they're not going to be on when the high beams are on. Duh. And yeah, there we go. I don't know. We'll have to see how bright they are at night. And there we go. Final look. And that, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, oh, look. Hey, Lance. I just finished up the job. Thanks for coming over, man. You going to handle something? No, 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 we're good. We're good. I just did it all myself. Okay. Um, so we're good. Well, just remember I offered. I really can't tell at this point in time if the front ones are any brighter than the old ones. I hope that they are so that I can see things at night because we have a lot of deer, just a lot of deer where I am. And I'm going to clip one one of these days. Uh, the rear ones, though, I can tell are definitely brighter. Like that's without a doubt. So that way I won't back into anything. Plus, I got the backup camera. Oh, I'm, I'm so set now.
I am going to keep playing with the radio and everything there. I don't know. It needed a lot of updating and things that are going to take a little while. Plus, now the truck needs to be completely vacuumed out because somebody did their wiring like a full-on electrician in there and just left trash and wire shavings and all that stuff. all over inside with that guys i hope you enjoyed this upload um and maybe you know you maybe you want to go get a cheap cheap radio for your truck now it's not sponsored but if they wanted to sponsor it i would so thanks so much for watching guys have a great day <laughs>